Oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? Hey guys, it's actually Lollipop here, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. This is part 7. And on the last part, I made a grave mistake. If you have not watched it, watch it. Okay? Watch it. I made a grave mistake. And if you're wondering what that mistake was... Ugh, I just got shivers. Why did I literally just get shivers? Please don't be pregnant. <laughs> what did I do? Why did I do this? I, 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 why? And the thing is, it's not like I even have like risky woohoo mod. It's literally, I did this to myself. Oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? Please don't be <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honestly, raise, the, raise those hands. I thought she was going to get pregnant. I literally, I thought she was going to get pregnant. But we were blessed. I, we were blessed. Okay. I can't believe I did that. Why did I, I, I took it too far, okay? But luckily, nothing's going to come from it. It's okay. I am so so happy right now okay Aizen is actually pretty good at cooking so we should be able to make us something nice i think we're gonna go ahead and make some french toast i think i'm gonna go ahead and have Aizen wake up even though it's super early he needs to break make breakfast for this two new couple i i i can't believe i did that i'm still like shell shocked by myself i was literally shocked by all of that like so much that i haven't so even told so you but this is going to be the final part in this entire series i do have plans for you know things beyond jungle adventure with these sims and it's love day the day after are you kidding me i will have you know things to come with these sims after jungle adventure oh, ends geez. but i do plan to bring them back better than ever i know nothing happened but like i i regret doing that honestly i regret why did i do that i'm an idiot mm -hmm. i do just want to say that don't get too excited because they will not come back for a very long time when i do bring them back i'm planning for it to be like when when generations or um ambitions is like coming to an end which i hate to say because i love these sims and i have so many ideas for them and things that they will do and just everything but it won't happen for a very long time oh and she actually because she's in a romantic relationship and loves the outdoors and also once again in a romantic relationship she loves love day so i think i am gonna wake up luciano because he's been like awake or sleeping for a while now so i think i am gonna wake him up hopefully he doesn't like yeah he wants to leave but i think i'm gonna invite i can't invite him out on a date we literally just went on a date with him two dates with him last night and i do want to focus a little bit more on azen since the last part was a lot about Kara, like literally only about Kara. so i do think i should really get going now thanks for hanging out with me see you later okay well i think i'm gonna go ahead and how about you know what grab ponder exotic locals that's interesting go ahead and do that or is it like locales i don't know <laughs> while we're talking about jungle adventure kind of op off topic shadow of the tomb raider is coming out soon uh -huh. and i am so hyped like so hyped uh but little off topic but i just wanted to, wanted to throw that out there because i'm so hyped for that game i love rise anyway so i think we're gonna go ahead and focus more on azen why did i say it like that that was so weird make some um why do i keep talking like that make old yorkfield classic 16 platter and um maybe we'll just have to see what happens with azen in this part i don't know so oh, she's so pretty like she's not as pretty as like some of my other sims like no tea no shade but she's still pretty okay guys so azen actually head out to windenburg and that's because one of his best friends actually recently moved to windenburg and windenburg isn't really far from San Myshuno, so he definitely was super excited to hear the news. Here she is. This is Yuki Bird. This is his um 
old best friend from high school. They haven't talked to each other in literal years. So to have him just walk in, she's probably like, whoa, Aizen, is that you? She's kind of confused. You can kind of tell on her face. She's just like, Aizen, is that you? And I think he's just going to be like, yeah, it is. How have you been? I live kind of close so we can, you know, start talking again. And I think um, we're just going to ask a couple questions. Just ask her how she's been. She still doesn't have a job. Um, well, she kind of does. Not really an official one. She's actually a hacker slash video game streamer. So, but she's like, that's kind of like a profession type of thing. She doesn't actually like have a, like a full on job that she has to leave home for, you know? So we're just going to go ahead and have these two talk it up a little bit. Okay, guys. So Kara is currently sitting at home all alone. And as you can tell, she's feeling pretty confident. And I think that she's, she's ready to text her dad. Now, the relationship thing says they're friends. That's just because they're, you know, they're, daughter and father or whatever um but trust me they they don't have the best relationship um but i'm gonna go ahead and have her text him this is like kind of a big deal for her right now she's just kind of saying like hey dad how have you been i'm sorry for what happened but i feel like i needed to talk to you again after you bought us this apartment how did you get enough money to pay for this house and he's just like, what? We know that you bought us this apartment. Like, w the guy told us, Kara, I don't want to tell you why we got all this money. What? Like, what happened? I'm just kind of curious. And he's just like, Kara, I think we should go ahead and go to the Chez Llama for lunch and kind of talk there. So that has her really nervous. What if something bad happened? Like, there's clearly a reason that he's being all serious about this then again like they haven't talked in years last time they talked it was you know not pleasant in one half of her head she's like oh no what happened and then the, in the other half she's just kind of like okay well i'm glad that we're going to be talking in person again and hopefully that will you know have us make up a little bit and then here we go here he is the man carson Whaley. Here he is, and as you can tell, they're just looking at each other, and I think that right off of the bat, let's go ahead and hug lovingly, and I think she's just going to say, like, Dad, I am so sorry for what happened. I was just a little brat, and he's just like, listen, Kara, you were young, okay? You, you were young. I was being dumb, but we need to talk, and she's just like, okay, sounds good. Okay, let's go ahead and order our food and drinks. I think he's just going to have, I think he's going to get a Dim and Gusty. And I think she's just going to get something, just a calming chamomile. I think she needs something that's a little bit calming right now. Because she's, you know, she's on the edge of her seat right now. Um, I think he's going to go ahead and get some steak. And I think she's going to get, um, maybe some herb crusted salmon i think that's really all they need for right now also sorry if my game is being super slow my computer has been on for such a long time plus i'm recording so things are just you know not wanting to work yes okay it's actually working now kind of had me concerned for a little bit but let's go ahead and ask about his day and just be like how have things been and he's just gonna be like Car also, sorry if this is kind of awkward. I'm not good at this whole story thing quite yet. I'm trying to get the hang of it. But he just says, Kara, we seriously need to talk. Because this is really important. I'm glad you're sitting down, basically. And I'm glad that we get to talk about this in person. So she's just going to basically say, you know, is everything okay? What happened? Why is this so serious? And he's just like... Kara, your mother passed away. What? This is this is a joke, right? This isn't funny, Dad. I didn't want to tell you this. She passed away in a car accident, and that's why I got all of that money. And I also lost my job. I'm barely being able to pay these bills, and 
I hate to say this because Kara, I love you to death and I want you to have the best life. I don't want you to be held down by something. What do you mean be held down by something? Kara, I'm gonna be evicted from the house. I don't wanna say this, but I think I need to move in with you, Kara. I, I have nowhere else to go and I hate to weigh you down like this, but I have nowhere else to go. Dad, of course I'll let you move in with me. This isn't a problem whatsoever. Yes, it is, Kara. I don't want to weigh you down like this. Don't worry, I'll be out as soon as I can and as soon as I can get a new job. Life has been really hard after your mother passed away and as i said i lost my job and there's not much i can do right now dad don't even worry it's fine of course you can move in with me i love you i know and i love you too and that's the reason i don't want to weigh you down by living in this place i'm sorry for all that i've done how i've hurt you and all of the horrible stuff that i have done i am so sorry cara I forgive you, Dad. I'm sorry, too. Okay, so that was, like, really emotional for Kara. She does not know what to think right now, and her dad has to move in with her, which he's not mad whatsoever, but he feels really bad about it. But as I said before, this is the final part of the series, and if this part ends, that means that this series ends. And I have to end this part here, so I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was kind of like cringy or awkward. Oh my gosh, I just said cringy. I hate that word. Ooh. Uh, but sorry if it was a little awkward. I'm not used to making story things like this. Like, I love to do it, but I've never done it before, so sorry if it was kind of bad. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and I really hope that you enjoyed this series, and I hope you're looking forward to the day that these sims come back, even if it won't be for a little while. So thank you so, so much for watching this part and all of the parts. I hope you enjoyed them all. So, and I hope you have an extra special, great, great day. Goodbye.